First of all, don't use a traditional rotary tubing cutter. The negative results are a tube with a closed off end or inside diameter. To achieve the proper results, you need to start by cutting the tube using a cutoff wheel. This gives us a nice square cut. The next step is to deburr the end inside and outside. We use a grinding wheel to face the end to ensure the end is square. Next, hold the tube at a 45 degree angle and roll it or spin it in your hands. Be careful to use the appropriate pressure to achieve a nice even chamfer. The last step is critical to achieving a great flare. Remove the inside burr by using a unibit step drill bit. Again, be sure to use the appropriate pressure. Now you are ready to flare. Watch our tech stop video using the classic tube hydraulic flaring tool set.